everyone, Rachel here for this new Travel Grow episode. As you can see, we are already enjoying Middleburg a lot, but I will show you much, much more. Are you ready? Let's explore. Middleburg was built in the 9th century as the middle of three strongholds. And it still has a strong historic character nowadays. If you walk through the small streets surrounded by buildings like this, you might not realize it. But this city was hit hard during the Second World War. Though the bombing of Rotterdam is more famous, both cities kind of looked like this after the Nazis visited. But Middleburg did an amazing job rebuilding her historic highlights. The Abbey, for example, once the center of a large monastic complex. It will provide you peace and quiet moments right in the center of town. The impressive town hall is right on the market square, built in a beautiful Gothic style. Look at all the details they created. It was voted as the second most beautiful building in the Netherlands only a few years ago. And I can see why you'd love it. And if you ever get lost in the little streets of the city center, you only have to look up for Long John, or Lange Jan, as we call him in Dutch. He's a tall friend you will see from almost every part of the city center. Not just beautiful from the outside, but also to be enjoyed from within. With steps going smaller and smaller as you go up, climbing this tower is not for the faint-hearted. But the views from the top are definitely worth it. Well, we have to go down to experience this city in a different way, because Middleburg is also a very artistic place. They say there are even more galleries than cafes in town. And every first Sunday of the month, the artists just let you catch a glimpse of their art and workspace. Look for this flag on any building and you're invited to enter. Well, before you know it, you are lost in the mind of an artistic soul. All in all, it's great the artists take time to talk to you and explain all about their work. I was surprised by the quality also. There were quite a few things I would love to have at home. And seriously, I lost my heart to this little man. He reminds me so much of my dad with our little dog. Well, another cool thing also happened in the middle of our art tour. We came across this little house here and the owner just invited us in. Well, guess what? He showed us the old-fashioned kitchen under his house. It's not a museum or anything, it's just a private collection. I love little discoveries and friendly moments like this one. Alright, so after a little lunch at the Kloveniers Doelen, we're off to combine two things Middleburg does so well. Mix history with art and you will end up at this museum, where the showstopper is to be found on the third floor. These tapestries are telling the story of Zeeland's great battle against the Spanish at the beginning of the Eighty Years' War. The Spanish fleet was much mightier, but the locals had the advantage of knowing the area. It's fun to see the propaganda in the scenes, but it also gives a good insight of a war at sea near the end of the 16th century. It's made and preserved very well. Getting out of the museum, it's around dinner time, and we are invited at Restaurant Scherp, where they serve you local products in a very delicate way. 
The restaurant is split over several buildings, so even when there are a lot of people, you will still feel like dining cozy together. All right, guys, we're off to bed. Come on, Gretel, <laughs> walk straight. Well, I normally don't get myself a fancy hotel, but when we're in one, I really enjoy it. Our weekend in Middelburg is almost over, but before we go home, I must show you the sea. The Dutch are famous for conquering the water, and a big part of that is the Delta Works. It's built in the River Delta to protect the land from the sea. And there it is! Delta Works! Oh my, I wanted to show it to you so much better. But what I can mainly tell you is how fully I understand we need to be protected from stormy days. And this wind isn't even that extreme. Well, I'm glad I'm dry again. The only thing left to say is... Ah. Ah. Okay guys, this was it. One day of Middelburg, Zeeland, it's raining. And we're gonna say goodbye, hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching! Doo. See you next time! Please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your comments down below. Doeg!